So this is the kitchen sink stretch. And you wanna make sure you, you wipe your sink so you don't slip, because you're gonna on it, you're gonna grip. So I call it a kitchen sink because it's probably the only thing in your house you can pull on to that's not gonna go with you, all right? So you stand about uh, oh, at least a foot away from it, like this, or arm's length if you wanna think this way. Okay, and what you're gonna do is then you're gonna just, is that you're hanging on a sink. So you want, you're gonna keep your legs straight, and you wanna push all the way back. So you're gonna feel a stretch in your butt, in your hamstring, so I feel a stretch in my lower back, and keep your head down. So stay there long enough until you can feel that you're stretching all the way through, like that. Okay, now you're gonna keep your head down, and what you're gonna start doing is say, my, my, my back just cracked now. So I'm slowly bringing my pelvis under, I'm tucking under, using my belly muscles, and I'm pressing down into the floor with my feet. So I feel the muscles in my legs working now. And what I'm doing is you can see I'm bringing my knee over the toe, and I'm still trying to keep my back round, all right? My back is round. And as I bring my knee over the toe, I'm gonna to slowly bring the thigh and the hip. And as I do that, I'm pushing down. I'm still got my head down, all right? And now I'll be standing the legs straight and I'm gonna lean into the sink. So now you're gonna feel a good stretch in your calf and your ankle and your hip and you're using, keep your stomach in, right? Now you wanna to start to look up so that you're gonna arch the back. You're gonna keep leaning forward, try to keep your legs where they are, and your hips where they are, and then you're gonna be pushing against the sink. And then you wanna look up and you wanna go as far as you can, so now you're gonna get a nice stretch through your hip and your thighs, so the front of the leg and the front of your body. So you always try to work opposite, okay? If you do the back, then you have to do the front, okay? Then when you do this, then the next thing you do it again. So that again, when you start this way, so you're really gripping, so you're really hanging on the sink, right? So all your weight now reaches your butt, okay, and your lower back, and your legs are straight, like this. So the tension is here, in your hands, and you're stretching your shoulder. <laughs> Wait just look. a second, we opened this drawer. Oh. <laughs> so just go back to where you were. Okay. So you were back there, with the, okay. leaning back. Okay, so you're hanging on the sink like that, and you really feel the stretch all the way in your lower back, and your hamstrings, your legs are straight. Okay, so you're really hanging, your weight's all the way back there. So you keep hanging, you keep your weight back there, and then you're gonna tilt, you're gonna use your stomach, but you're gonna tilt your pelvis, you're gonna tuck it under, and so you're gonna start then bending the knees. So I feel the weight is back on my heel, and I'm still stretching my lower back. I can still feel that, I can feel my shoulders, and I'm pushing down, because I'm gonna stand on my feet, and as I do that, I'm still pulling, and as I push down, okay, pulling away, then I'm gonna stand slowly, I'm gripping my toes because I'm always connecting to the floor. So now I'm in a straight line here. I'm going to lean into the bar. Now I want to go the other way. So now I have a good stretch in my calf and my ankles. Hold your stomach in. And you want to start to look up, up, up. And if you can see the ceiling, you're going to feel the light. And you want to keep leaning into the bar, I mean into the sink, right, with your shoulders down. And try to think of arching your back so you work your spine the other way. And then you're going to bring yourself up and you should just be able to stand and you're gonna feel a lot taller than you were when you started. Okay.